the freeze frame effect can be a very effective way to grab the viewer's attention. You can use it in so many ways, and today I'm going to show you how to easily pull this effect off in Filmora X. So if you're ready, let's head on over to the lab. So go ahead and bring your clip on down into the timeline. And for this particular clip here that we have, we're going to go ahead and apply a LUT. We're going to use the black and white LUT that comes inside Filmora X by simply selecting it here. And that step is not something that's required for every project. Make the determination based off how your colors came out. But to set the scene for today, we simply need to find the spots that we want to take a snapshot of. As you can see in the freeze frame effect, that's where those pauses will be. Here we found one and we just simply clicked on that snapshot button and we're going to drag the length of that clip out to the original clip. But make sure that you hide the clip so that you can find your next one because if not, the layer on top will be the only one visible. Do this as many times as you need and find the number of clips that will suit your need. We're going to speed this up just a bit. But again, just go through your video file and just find those spots that seem right and perfect just for you. Now, once you've got that last one here, what we're going to do is just go ahead and make the timeline smaller there. Unhide these clips so that it's visible. This last one's being a little pesky. All right, there we go. And let's just go ahead and move the timeline here towards the end so we can see our effect. All right, now, second part here is to just double click on each of these clips. And we're going to need to select the proper blending mode here. We're going to pause real quick just to explain that. When you normally layer things inside of Filmora or any other editing program, only the top layer shows. And that's how you kind of can get those special effects that so many know about and are used to. But anytime you want multiple layers to show through so that the pixels can combine to form a fluid kind of video, that's where the blending mode comes into effect. And so that's what you'll want to play around with and get familiar with. But for the black and white color palette that we have here today, the mode that we're going to need to choose is lighten. Typically for this effect, darken would be the effect if you were recording outside. But we're going to simply select each track. And because we didn't hit OK, we're still inside the menu. And we're going to select lighten for each layer that we have here. So each snapshot plus the original track, as you can see here. And we're going to have to come back here as we did pick the LUT on the original track. So again, there we go. All right. So once we have that done, we're just going to simply move the timeline so that you can kind of see now that each track is visible, how that was achieved. So now it's time to go ahead and export this file. So go ahead and give it a name. Now let's go ahead and first go to the advanced options by clicking on settings. What you want to do is make sure that you have a high frame rate and a high bit rate, which we already do here and go ahead and click on export. Now, the reason that we're going to need that is because we're going to bring this track in. So we don't want to lose any quality while doing that. So that's the reason for the high rates. All right. So now once we've gone ahead and imported that clip back in, we don't need those clips here, so go ahead and press Control A to select all and click delete. Now let's bring that imported file back down. And really, we got one step left to achieve our effect. This is just cleaning up, removing all those extra tracks. No need to do it, but just a little house cleaning there. But go ahead and click on that track. Come up here to the speed and in Filmora X, just simply select reverse and truthfully that's all you need to do to achieve this effect. so we went ahead and rendered that quickly and here we go 
there you saw in the intro this is pretty much what you can do for any of those wonderful ideas that you guys got out there now here at the end if you want to find out how to do those crop and zoom effects which we had in the intro then we got a video link up top for you to go ahead and check out a video where we dive into the details all about that but let's go ahead and show you some of the things to consider some of the things that you want to make sure you don't want to do let's go ahead and check it out so up first here as you can see man got a yoda like effect going on there but you can see that colors are very critical when considering the recording and that blending mode I tried every mode and just couldn't get any of them to work with this outfit here and so take a look at the very next one same thing different giddy up but dark colors we tried there with some blue shorts the white stripe down the side and this one again you can see the microwave shining through so again this effect is tended to be with a simple background single or maybe two colors or perhaps outside but tough here in the kitchen this one right here was actually the original idea but this one taught us one thing here lifting the weights as you can see the original clip is still in the background you see we got that part right in the kitchen we kept it moving so you kind of want to make sure that the character or the main actor just keeps it moving and so this one is another one to be on the lookout for i just want to thank each and every one of you for rocking in here with your boy dre again today always always showing me love helping to bring the channel a little bit further and i truly do appreciate that I want to give a special thanks to the star of today's show of course hustle coffee cup here today so in honor of that we're gonna be finishing today's video the same place we started here in the kitchen so that's what we got going on here in the background but definitely feel free to drop a link down below let me know what you thought of today's video i truly truly do hope that it helps someone out there and maybe that someone is you but again whether you create a little or you create a lot just keep creating and until next time stay safe take care of yourselves and peace